Wasatch County is about 45 minutes east of Salt Lake City. At one time, it was home to more than 130 dairies. Today, due to urban encroachment and rising land prices, there are only two. One of those dairies is doing more than surviving, but thriving by taking a challenge and turning it into an opportunity. This red building framed in winter sits under the mountains in Heber Valley, just outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. The bold black letters proudly posted on the outer wall tell you what's inside. Our philosophy is you can't make the world's greatest cheese without the world's greatest milk. So everything starts on the dairy farm and we really attribute that to the success of our cheese. And the dairy farm Russ Kohler and his family operate is as impressive as the majestic views that surround it. Kohler's great grandfather bought this farm in 1929 and converted it to a dairy operation. The head of a Holstein cow graces the old milking parlor. While not as ornate, the new dairy barn is like club med for the 120 cows milked daily. It's my job as the farmer to keep these ladies behind me as comfortable, stress-free and relaxed as possible. There there are brushes that rotate automatically when the cows want a scratch. Feed is available all day long. Farm dog Mookie helps out and a robot pushes the feed closer to the cows when it spreads thin. And each cow wears a collar that Kohler says works like a Fitbit. It tracks how much the cows eat, their temperature, how much milk they produce, and yes, their steps and then sends all of that data to a computer. The data is huge. Uh, the numbers really help you dial in and focus on problems and find the root of problems quicker and so we can get the cows to be just more relaxed, more comfortable, and ultimately more productive. The site of that production is a source of even more data. Kohler uses a robotic milking system that allows the cows to choose when they want to be milked up to three times a day. Once a cow is in the chute, the cups attach to the udders, clean them, and the milking begins. Again, Kohler focuses on the data. So this is cow number 312. She's expected to give about 24 pounds of milk at this time. 24 pounds is about three gallons that she's going to give on this particular trip. Back at Heber Valley Artisan Cheese, the data collection continues. Kohler monitors temperature and time to make his cheese among the best in the world. That's not hyperbole. The Heber Valley Lemon Sage Cheddar won a gold medal from the World Cheese Awards. Number one in the world right there. Kohler started making cheese in 2011. Some from his very first batch continue to age in this huge cooler containing about 300,000 pounds of cheese. The age time on a cheese really determines the, the level of sharpness. So my mild cheddar will be in here for about two months. My sharp cheddar's in here for two years, all the way up to my reserve that's 10 years old that'll really knock your socks off. Kohler develops new flavors by making a new cheese and inviting visitors to try them, score them, and provide him with more data. We can plug that data then into our computer and we can find out which cheeses, which flavors people like. We can also find out when the age time is on that cheese, when people seem to like it the best. So some cheeses may peak at three to four months, some may take a year before people seem to like them the best. There's one piece of data that is always in the back of Kohler's mind. When his father was a boy, there were 130 dairies in Wasatch County. Today, his is one of two. Urban encroachment and rising land prices are often obstacles to agriculture. Where a lot of farmers were moving away from the people moving in, we saw it as an opportunity to take advantage of the people actually moving to us. Vertical integration allows Kohler to control the product from cow to consumer. By opening his farm for agritourism and with the help of Farm Bureau, Kohler works to keep the dairy thriving. We're urbanizing so rapidly that agriculture really is threatened by that. And Farm Bureau is just a, a steady voice that allows us to preserve what we want to do, preserve our heritage, and allow us to operate and share what we do with those people that are coming to us. By the way, the cheese tastes absolutely amazing and has wonderful views because we are right now at Heber Valley Artisan Cheese and we're just taking it all in.